this is a method that's been around for more than 30 years and uh, it is very effective still. We use it uh, regularly in my practice uh, and we often combine it with follicle unit excision uh, harvesting. But follicle unit strip surgery is where we take a strip of tissue out of the heart of the safe donor area in the back and the sides. And uh, the strip is often about 26 centimeters to 24 to 26 centimeters in length. And it's never wider than one centimeter. It might be uh, 0.8 millimeter, but maximum I take it at one centimeter. And um, this uh, width of the strip depends on the scalp laxity and also the, uh, the, the, the amount of grafts that we want to uh, harvest through, through the strip because the length and the width will determine how many follicles are in that strip. And once it's taken out from the back there, then uh, the technicians in my practice will cut up the strip uh, into slivers and then the slivers are dissected under stereo microscopes, uh, stereo microscopic vision. They carefully dissect out the individual follicles which might contain one hairs or two hairs or three hairs or four hairs. So we get uh, the spectrum of follicles that we can use. And uh, those follicles are then placed in graft storage solution. Uh, the incisions are then made in the recipient area. And then the individual grafts are transplanted into the recipient area. When do we mostly do the follicle unit strip surgery? It's in patients who have a challenging donor area, which don't have as many follicles, or who have had uh, previous uh, harvests done, uh, previous strip surgeries or previous FUEs. Uh, but it's mainly when there is a, a challenge to get to the number of follicles. So it allows us to get into the heart, into the sweet spot of the safe donor area and uh, remove uh, a fair number of grafts from there. And sometimes, as I said, I might combine it with follicle unit excision uh, where I will take uh, 1,500 grafts from the strip uh, and another 1,500 from the follicle unit excision and the total number might be 3,000 or they might be 2,000 from the strip uh, or and, and then 2,000 grafts from the follicle unit excision to make it 4,000 grafts or even more sometimes. So um, it's a very useful method which we use uh, frequently. It's been around for a long time. It's very effective and uh, in my practice we often combine the two techniques and uh, it works very well. Thank you.